welcome to Still a Part of Us. My name is Lee Red, and this is a brief note on grief. Imagine that you are walking through the beautiful countryside of Greece, and as you're looking out on the vistas, you notice a giant bird that is just soaring beautifully and gracefully through the air. As it flies closer to you, you see it land on the roof of an old decrepit stone building in the hills. You've never seen a bird like this before, and as you advance slowly on the bird, you notice that it is a beautiful red and gold. You climb closer to the roof, and you hear this beautiful, sad song coming from the bird. And as you are enthralled by this song, you notice sparks erupting from the bird. And as the sparks grow, a fire consumes the bird. This fire is hot and intense, and it burns the bird. And there is nothing that you can do, for that fire is so hot. And as it dies out, you climb to see what has happened. And in the ash of this bird, you see a little chick rummaging through the ashes of once was this beautiful grand bird. And as you realize that this phoenix sacrificed itself so that a new bird can form. Grief is like that for us. We once were a different majestic bird. And through the trials and through the pain, what once was was burned away. And something new and fragile has emerged. This bird is independent of the former bird but it has the DNA of that former bird. Much like our old selves and our new selves after the tragic loss, we have to form a new life in the future, but not forget the past. I hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks to Josh Woodward for letting us use his song, Sleep Well, My Dear. You could find him at joshwoodward.com. And thank you for joining us today. (laughs) 